Okay, right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Team Fantastic uh, with the TV advantage against Dark Elves. But it does mean they'll have a wizard, of course, which can be enough to swing the game for them. Um, we are Squid. That's a good name, isn't it? He's got an assassin. Oh, he's not going to have a. He's not going to have a wizard because he's got two journeymen. He's got eleven men, Dark Elves. So hopefully, hopefully that's good. Yeah, that's the thing, Ducky. It's it's crap, isn't it? It is, it is pretty much. Um, it is pretty much. That is pretty much the thing with 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 Champ Slade. You know, I put myself under that pressure to put to knock out all the games, and I shouldn't have because obviously, if you're playing while you're sick or whatever, then, and then you lose. Losing is it's not just not winning, is it? <laughs> losing is worse than not playing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, you choose five teams, and yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It is interesting. Try basically if you if you wanted a tier one team, you'd have to use a tier three team as well. So, or tier four, depending on how they do it. I think they I think they pretty much split it into four, four tiers, three, two, one, and zero points, something like that. Um. So I think the best way of doing it was to choose four twos and one one. No, but then you choose your top three records or something, wasn't it? So you might want to just choose two shit ones that you don't. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, zero, one, two, and three. The first 40 games with each team. So, I mean, you know, that's the thing, isn't it? It might be worth, if you don't think goblins are that much worse than Underworld, it might be worth going three zero and then three twos. I, I like the idea of it. I did. I did like the idea of the black box challenge. Thanks for the link, El Mato there. And I've just got just clicked on that link, haven't I? I've got to close the window because it'll be killing the stream. Yeah, vamps. Maybe it's f the first forty games in the underworld can min max pretty effectively, I guess. But then, if if other people don't play, yeah, it's it's neat. Apart from like it's how grindy it is, isn't it? Having to play the forty games of each race, it would get. It's okay if you're okay playing those races, but if you were doing it just to play it, it would be bad. That's true. Right. I think I'll just receive and try to kill them. What did he get? He got the babe. I've got the fame of one. So yeah, just try to try to beat him up. Eh? He's only got eleven players. I've got a mighty blow tackle or a mighty blow, a claw mighty blow. You never know. Um, it just depends if you think other people other people are going to go play 200 games that's the thing if you think people are going to play 200 games then I think going a more well rounded squad but if you, if you think people aren't going to play that then maybe it's like 40 games with you know lizards and 40 games with chaffs might um, you know and then 80 games then 40 games with a two point thing might that might be enough if you think 120 games will be enough but i think if you're going to commit to playing the 200 it is an interesting format i wouldn't go so far as to say it was good but interesting right wrestle guy can get somebody Oh, I can blitz him. Seems reasonable. Just one witch. Six 
sidestep us, make it out of them, doesn't it? <sighs> it's not that bad but it's not good is it it saves this guy from getting tackled ah, I just bowed actually the perfect defense has exposed him <laughs> exposed his best player to getting tackled which is pretty funny Imagine if the perfect defence loses him the game. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Good. <laughs> he wouldn't have even got blizzard if he hadn't got perfect defense. What a chump. What a fucking chump. Brilliant. Alright. Let's screen off the good players. Make it a bit harder to hit him. <laughs> that was great that he fucked himself with perfect defence. They can't get here even if they go full speed can they so get a bit in front of uses so he can use his full movement next turn. Simply the best for go. Glorious. <laughs> that was great that perfect defence fucked him. I've given up trying to qualify Tozzy Adore, but now I'm just playing for fun. So it's alright. Jim Fowler make it fair. <laughs> nah, let's not let's not do that. I mean he, he might try to break through here, but he can't really get in the way of the team. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and get right up in the middle. Maybe he's just trying to run away. Magic doesn't have different decks. You have one deck in Magic. and uh, You can sideboard. But yeah, the Hearthstone with the different decks is... I mean, that's also because Hearthstone takes like five seconds and is lucky as fuck. <laughs> and RNG as fuck, isn't it? So... I don't know. I don't hate the idea of different teams and stuff. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? No oh, man, he made the three, he made them three plus two plus is like a pro. Dangerous blitzing sidesteppers, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Five, six. All right, so first things first. Let's get the ball completely safe. Oh, 
because I could get the warriors in. In contact. I wouldn't hate it. Oh, I could have blitzed with a claw. Oh my god, I blitzed with the wrong player. It cost me a, it cost me a level up. Oh shit. Obviously, he was going to blitz him to get the claw on, right? Because I didn't need tackle for him. Never mind. Not the end of the world, obviously. Guess no need to get people in contact, is there? At the moment, can can jam in next turn. Bad play rewarded as always. All right, okay. Mobbers do it as two. Okay, fair enough then. Maybe it should have been Elfag or H, shouldn't it? But yeah, 34, that's pretty good. Oh, come on, one one more Kaz for Judah Fagor. And he's run out of targets now. That was the bad thing. That was one of the few chances he would get to make the attrition blitz. Now it's running out of non blodges to hit. Yeah, obviously I don't hate Tackle now that he's got Mighty Blow. Now that you've got Mighty Blow, Tackle's absolutely great, but... Um... I just hated it without the tackle. Wow, he's getting a big foul in. This is 11 man team. Well done, idiot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it looks like he's trying to not stop the score, isn't it? But I don't think it's going to work for him, to be honest. I don't. I want to be able to have him not blitzed. Oh god. Yeah, I've got no no problem at all with Mighty Blow Tackle. See, Mighty Blow Tackle is what made it good, but just the block tackle is what I had a, is what I had a severe problem with. To jam in three warriors. I just don't want to get surfed. That would feel bad, wouldn't it? Put them in like this, I guess.
Next time I'll swing back around and fight him. He's, he's going to go for the ball, isn't he? That's you know he's already come for the ball a little bit. He's basing the ball, <laughs> basing the ball, even though that means he's just giving up a claw, mighty blow block, and a mighty blow tackle block. Interesting strategy, Cotton. He was always going to come back to the ball, wasn't he? Well, he wasn't always going to, but I thought there was a good chance of him coming back to the ball, which is why I didn't want to go ham with the Warriors. This guy's gone ham with the cheer fires there. So he can he can shadow and stuff here, but um, I'm still just gonna punch him first. He can't shadow. Three dice for the claw guy. Could greed it. No. Now this stab will kill that guy probably. I like want to keep him out in front. But if I go here, then it exposes the back a bit, doesn't it? Guess I've got to be sensible. Yeah, maybe I should have graded that. But you know, I know three turns for four, three rerolls for four turns is a lot. But then you never know what might happen. They're still elves; they can do stuff, can't they? Not even hitting the tackle.
Now he does his safe move. Phew. Getting a mighty blow in back into a tackle block as well. Wow, he let the autopathing do a 4 plus instead of a 3 plus. Silly boy. We obviously want to come back in the middle here. Safe moves is blocking with two dice. 3D him. the ball be here looks like I'm not going to get the foul or make it three dice either realistically Fucking auto pathing, holy shit. I guess I can make it three days. Outrageous safe moves first here, just quietly. And now it doesn't matter who I, uh, where he sides up to, he can't crack the cage, can he? Maybe I should have done this one first. Him being in front is quite nice as well, isn't it? And now if he blitters him, it means that he's giving up the score pretty much. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to, um, PM me at Tony, uh, no, like whisper me it because I can't click on links. So. It's Fash's head on a woman's body. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Yuri Styles. Can foul that assassin next turn. No, he didn't even didn't even base him up. <laughs> Glorious. Right, do this block first. To see if he sidesteps into the claw mighty blow, which he didn't.
And the claw might be broken by two. Yes, level. Finally. Use him to screen off the surf a little bit. I guess he can, uh, oh no, then he could get jump up stabbed. Well, not stabbed, blitz stabbed. It's not such a great idea, is it? Two assist foul, not the end of the world. Might have been worth to get the assist from the tackler as well. But this way it protects the tackler, doesn't it? Oh god. <laughs> Glorious. Guess fucked AV7 shithead. Oh well, Bullfagor has done his part, hasn't he? The terrifying... The terrifying assassin is no more. <laughs> what a glorious game this has been. <laughs> Hello, Super Mega Ultra VIP Last Frogman. I can give you the uh, the editing rights when you turn up in the uh, in the moderators here. Um, Hoof <laughs> of death. Yeah, because are pretty easy when the removal skills remove. Yeah, they are, to be fair. Like, that's the thing about Chaos, isn't it? It makes half of your games just automatic wins. <laughs> oh, look, it's my sugar daddy. Which is... The last frog man. And having half of your games automatic wins is pretty good against, like, competent players as well. I think I should surf this guy, yeah? Ah, but this is the frenzy, so it'd have to be one... Two, three, four, five, six. I could sidestep to here. So I could just block him and he'd have to go there. No, he could just not use it. So it'd be, it would be a lot, actually. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players to surf him. I us blitz him first and see what happens. Because if he's stupid, he'll, he'll sidestep to the sideline. Oh well. Gets wrecked anyway. I guess and protect these guys from the surf by screening it off. Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much. The last the last frogman. Um. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> um. That's a that's a cool feature, isn't it? Oh, there's a way through here. All right, that's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't really want him to come in here, do I? With all of this shit. I guess sandwiching her is okay. Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Last Frog Man. Uh, that is that is genius, isn't it? <laughs> Gifting someone a sub. Uh, yeah, Poncho Diva. Yeah, the the to the prime one is a weird one. I'm not sure how it works. Sandwiching a witch elf. <laughs> Oh man, do you know <laughs> I tell you what, one of the funniest things that happened to me. It might not be funny to you, so forgive me if it isn't that funny. But But there was a horrible, horrible girl who worked at Royal Mail when I worked at Royal Mail. And uh <laughs> she was she was like she was very overweight. And uh, and she, you know, she was a bit like. I tell you what, she was a bit like um, that woman who um, wore the pink tracksuit in that TV show, Vicky Pollard. You know, she was like, she was proper rough. And uh, but the point is, she was obese, right? So I was with my friend. Um, I was talking to my friend at work and then we, we were talking about something to do with it and I said I said oh, <laughs> you could off we oh, I, we or you or something I said but I said something about offering a sandwich now <laughs> I meant <laughs> offering a sandwich to eat because she was overweight but he thought <laughs> of a different kind of sandwich and it was just really funny. I could have surfed this guy because he just always he had always gone about this sandwich idea, like fancy a sandwich and stuff. And it was it was just funny because he had totally got the wrong end of the stick from what I was saying. It was pretty funny. I don't want a two dice without block, despite fiddling that in. I just want a three dice. If I can reach. <laughs> Straight out of Andy's anecdote book. <laughs> Missing a lame name story, cuts you, Jim. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it just always cracked me up because he thought it was hilarious. The other kind of sandwich, but um But I just hadn't meant that at all. <laughs> Oh, Jelly will learn to play. He's got no audio. All right, well, in that case, I'll have to do the story time. <laughs> yep. There you go, learn to play Jelly Deal. <laughs> Nah, I can't re-roll it back into Mars because it could be a triple skull, couldn't it? And uh, if it were a triple skull, um, I, would, I would feel pretty, pretty fucking stupid, wouldn't I? So uh, I didn't want to run the risk of the triple skull. Yeah. Could have surfed that guy, though. That would have been the play, surfing that. I didn't even think about surfing. It's... It's on my sheet that I shouldn't surf, so. But I think he's better than him, isn't he? Right, really. Wrestle Frenzy, pretty pretty useful sometimes. That's his team wrecked anyway, and it's seven players. Receiving for the attrition actually worked out, if you can fucking believe that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Flat fart, flat fart should maybe go for a touchdown, shouldn't he? That's a good point, or a completion, or a touchdown. Flat fart. That is that is key to get him a level actually, because Judah Fagor's got his level. I guess scoring touchdowns on El Fagor is a good idea to get into Clora piling on, isn't it? So he's a good one to focus on. But yeah, I mean, for the next match, for the immediate future, flat fart has to be focused if possible. So yeah. Yeah, I really tried to get a touchdown on him this half. P. Diddy. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely best to try to level. Definitely best to level flat fart for sure, yeah. No, I'm absolutely happy with the... Uh, I guess he has to die. Um, the absolute best player is... He's absolutely fine now, yeah, it's only when he doesn't have Mighty Blow. Jelly, oh, you noob. <laughs> I just hated block tackle. It's horrible, because you've got a block with him, and then you're giving up the Mighty Blow claw, you know? Gel fago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shawnee. Because I can't hear you, I accept it. <laughs> Hello, Ninja Bread Man. Oh, there you go. Narrow, narrowly out bashing Dark Elves now. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Shawnee. At least you've got all the. At least you work in the all caps. Can I give you guard? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, eventually. It's champs ladder. Um, I just took off the uh, CCL and the record because it was pissing me off. Ah, very, very good, El Mato. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, Crossout, I, I completed it, basically. You know, when, when I got the promo account, I was like, just didn't really enjoy having everything. And then I unlocked everything, got built everything, and I just felt like I'd completed it and I didn't want to play it anymore. So, that was it. Russell. Yeah, exactly, Kurgo. I've I've got twelve. <laughs> oh no, maybe it's ten. Ten or twelve hovers I've got, and it's like, oh, I've got everything now. I just... I didn't get a fire bug no. Like that would be such a long grind to get, like. Okay, so I hadn't fully completed it. Yeah, you know, like, obviously, yeah, I could get two tsunamis. I could get, you know, everything, but... I don't know, I just... I got what I wanted, you know. I got what I wanted, which was the... You know, I got as much as I wanted, that was it, really. <laughs> right. Obviously can just slam into everyone now then, eh? Here is some more of my money. Jimmy, don't lose. <laughs> Thank you very much. Super Mega Ultra VIP last frogman. I'll try not to lose. Hedge crippler got crippled. <laughs> Fuckhead. Now, he, now the claw can't get mighty blowed. Wow, that woman is rubbish. Maybe you've got to make it flat, then a space, then fat. <laughs> but thanks, thanks for the bit. <laughs> Our blitz kills that he blitz and got a Kaz as first action. It was this guy, Hedge Crippler, got crippled. else. Right. Up, up, base, base, base. Got to block him with flap fart. Get that, Kaz. No. One, 
two, three, four, five, six GFI. Pretty much got to go for that, I think. The problem is there's only him that can go in behind afterwards. He's all have to get out of the way first. So I can just, if I click on him, I know it worked. All right then, I'll let it off. I just auto path it like a moron. Tschüss. Double GFI to get him. I mean, his play at the moment is just dodge to here, blitz him to clear, and dodge out with him is the play. So, yeah, I think I've got to make the two GFIs. Only makes it a little bit harder, but still. <laughs> Dr. Mama Sky Rowan Dice look. It doesn't really do anything. I don't know. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> yeah, he's gone for the skull of the Dodgers. Yeah, he hasn't got any choice, has he? I just thought that made it a little bit harder having him there. And it did make it a little bit harder, but he rolled all the dice anyway. Because why wouldn't he? Oh, glorious. At least a customer re-roll. Thank you very much for the host. My, you too strong. Wow. Well, again, six men should still be able to score here, eh? even with only two rerolls. <laughs> yep, click end zone win. Pretty good, isn't it? Probably not. A, probably a flat foot touchdown rather than pass. I mean, if I if it, I would have gone for the fat fat pass if I was up one nil, um, but I think with it being one one with only two re rolls, there's no chance of a fat fat pass now. Maybe a flat fat touchback or handoff. 
but um, not a pass. For sure, not a pass. Hopefully a cars anyway. Safe moves first. Come on, get a Kaz. Get a Kaz flat fat. No, okay. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. You can't. <laughs> Might get a knockdown. Go here, kind of. Maybe not. Hopefully, I'm safe there. <laughs> sure. Me. Yeah, one on the pickup, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be down to one reroll with extra arms. No, oh, yeah. He could have chained him into the ball carrier, couldn't he, if he had filled in that gap? But he'd still be a minus 2D. Hmm.
protect the tackle seems like a good idea. <laughs> it was the Lupak guy it was a running meme yeah Lupak used to play uh, blood, used to stream Blood Bowl a lot and he just played Chaos all the time and uh, that's pretty much it that's really all it was he just played a lot and uh, he just played Chaos every season and uh, he liked he liked killing everybody Yeah, yeah, exactly. It doesn't seem like much of a meme, does it? Chaos. I mean, chaos are good. It's it's obviously nice to play chaos because they just get free wins half the time, don't they? Well, maybe it's not half the time, but a certain some percentage of your games with with chaos are just automatic wins, and you don't have to think or bother yourself at all. It's pretty good. No, I could almost make this three dice. And when I say almost, <laughs> obviously can and should make it three dice. Gonna make the blitz first, then I guess. Could put the ball where he is. Gia fight to foul him. Can double Gia fight to foul him. Doesn't seem worth it, does it? Amazingly, the elf screen not doing that much. I mean, it's not his fault. He's got no players left, is it? Yeah, because I was winning quite a lot, Squirrel Dude, and I thought I didn't want to lose because I didn't have block. I mean, do I just do two? There's no reason to not do three, though, is there?
fuck's sake. Right, can can get a uh, can get a flat fart set up for a block potentially. Penis cage. I couldn't foul with it. I'd, I'd moved the uh, I'd moved the rookie to assist. Hadn't otherwise I'd have fouled with him. Haven't gone forward this turn though. That was bad, wasn't it? That was a bad in terms of getting forward turn. Should have got further forward. I. That was a bad. I couldn't foul with a block guard guy. I don't think. Well, I could have done. I guess. This guy. Right. So I can get right forward now, anyway, as it happens. Frenzy wrestle, pretty good player to do that. Could go really quite far. Do want guard on the cage corners though, and don't rely on fouling him. So maybe just going in here is good enough. You can just put loads of shit in front. Don't have them in opposite corners. <gasps> you can get a one dice in here potentially. Although they're one in thirty sixes, he could fail them. Nice corner guards, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't need corner guards, really, do you? It would have been nice to have in case he, in case he bombed in. But I mean, he could only really bomb in from this side anyway, because for him to come in like that, he couldn't have counted these two assists. Yeah, TLC. I just don't care if I qualify now. Hello, Devil's Eye. Yeah, I just don't care if I qualify, so I'm not going to have the record on. And I'm just not going to care if I qualify now. Alright, 
This is this is a score without any rolls now, then, isn't it? Oh wow! <laughs> Failed it, died. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Get wrecked, noob. Um, so yeah, now it's a score without rolls. Um, I guess I could three dice with flat fart. Four, five, six, seven. Three dice against armor seven as well. Oh yeah, it's actually pretty good, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you, last frog man. Right. Three D. Gets the pow. Come on, flat fart. Get that elusive cars. No. Click on the end zone. This is movement seven. Pretty good. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> good old flat fad. Did nothing. Probably get MVP after trying to level him. Okay. Oh, MVP for Elf, I go. I mean, he deserved it. To be fair. El Fago, he's, uh, what, six cars away now from getting panning on, I guess. Pretty good. Only 33 blocks. Only 33 blocks. And made five cars. That is crazy. That is really crazy, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, he's he's great once he's got block mighty blow tackle. Yeah, that was the thing, TLC. The qualification stress was is was doing man nothing. And it, although it was my fault, it still didn't didn't do me any favours. So by replacing mine off, I go only actually lose thirty k. So I guess it is worth it. And finally, Judah Fagor is complete unless he gets plus strength. Piling on. Oh, yeah. Finally, it becomes a chaos team. After 20 odd fucking games. I mean, could go a 13 player, but no, I don't think it's worth keeping mine off. I go. I'll just replace mine off. I go. So, uh. <laughs> Because he did. No, I guess it's fair to have a. a, a Raffle every time, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, Flat Fart desperately needs a Kaz now, doesn't he? Or a completion or a touchdown, depending how the games go. I guess try to focus, apart from that one star player point, try to focus them on Elfago to get him up to a uh, mighty blow. Uh, so piling on, I guess. Go for a tackle pom and a claw pom. Obviously, the claw pom will get a million Kaz now. Well, should get a million Kaz. And Volpe's Fagor can just wait for an MVP to get Mighty Blow. Yeah, seems alright. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.